before we start up this video, quote it, let's get it in. All right, to begin this full body workout, we're gonna start with the BOSU, the BOSU ball, and we're gonna do BOSU ball uh, burpees with an overhead press. Now your goal for this exercise or throughout this workout is to perform 15 reps or at least 30 seconds of, of the exercise. Once complete, once the exercise is complete, you're gonna continue moving throughout the uh, workout by performing a side step or a walk in place. Now if you can't do the 15 reps in the beginning or do, do it for the 30 seconds, do what you can and build up to the 15 or uh, 30 seconds. Next is the Bosu Crunch. I like this exercise because it's real easy on your lower back and uh, it supports it supports your uh, lower back uh, throughout this exercise. I take my hands completely over my head for a full stretch and I bring them across and, and crunch real hard in the uh, up position. Next is the Bosu Shuffle. For beginners, I will tell you to probably walk through it at the beginning. Here I'm showing you to keep your knees bent and your back straight. Like I said, for beginners, I would do a couple of walkthroughs first until you get comfortable stepping across the ball. Then once you get comfortable stepping across the ball, you can go ahead and go into your full shuffle. Keep the knees bent and trying to keep your back straight. Once again, you're going to perform 15 reps or perform the exercise for at least 30 seconds. Next exercise is the BOSU push-ups. You're going to take the BOSU and flip it over on the ball side and you're just going to perform regular push-ups. Once again, if you can't perform all the reps, perform what you can and move to the next exercise. Now between exercises, you're going to take anywhere between 30 to 45 seconds to rest. But as I said, during that rest period between exercises, I want you to continue to move by stepping side to side or marching in place. Next, Bosu Toe Tap. Once again, for uh, beginners, start by walking or marching in place, tapping, toe tapping the Bosu ball. Then as you get more comfortable, you can start to do your leg, like, I guess uh, knee raises, if you want to call it that, and you want to tap your toe on the ball. 
As you can see, I bring my arms into the uh, exercise. And I pump my arms as I, as I bring my toes up and tap the bolster ball. Then it's back to the side step, doing my rest period. Okay, here's the Bosu one-arm dumbbell press. This is a little bit more advanced. Uh, I still want you to try it though. What I do, I take the Bosu ball and you uh, place your feet on the Bosu ball, supporting your uh, body. And you use the dumbbells and you perform one-arm dumbbell rows. If you can't use the BOSU ball, then uh, go ahead and, and put your feet flat on the floor. Here it is from a side view. Next up is the Bosu side lunges with bicep curls. Now if you notice through most throughout most of the exercises, uh, you're, uh, you're using the Bosu ball, but you're not only working the muscle groups, but you're also working the core, your uh, abs and your lower back. Keeping your lower your uh, abs contracted helps support your lower back, and it also strengthens your ab muscles. Back to the side step. Next is the Bosu triceps and rib delt extensions. This is kind of another advanced exercise, but it, it can be done. The key to this exercise is keeping your body off the ground, using your abs and your lower back. Uh, and your feet to uh, position your body in a uh, strict rigid motion uh, position kind of like a plank position actually it is a plank position here it is from the side so you can see none of my body is touching the floor I'm on my toes so, uh, laying across the ball and I bring my arms out like a tricep extension but I'm also working the rear delts Doing this exercise, you want to try to keep your head up. Don't let your head uh, lay flat on the floor or toward the ground. And next, crunches with a dumbbell trunk twist. Now you can do this exercise with or without the dumbbells, but for added resistance, I use the dumbbells. And notice I give my abs a full stretch as I raise my, uh, my hips. I stretch my abs and then bring them across and uh, perform my trunk twister with the dumbbells. And again, here it is from the side view.
again back to the side step for 30 to 45 seconds. And lastly, the BOSU weighted hip thrust. What you're gonna do, you're gonna flip the BOSU ball again on the, on the ball side, and you're gonna lay down flat, lay down on the flat side of the BOSU ball. Now with this exercise, you can use dumbbells, or you can use a plate, a weighted plate. is to get your hips up as far as you can and squeeze your buttocks uh, in the up position. Once you complete this last exercise, you're going to take anywhere between 90 to 120 second break and then you're going to repeat this uh, rotation one more time. And there you have it my BOSU full body workout. Train hard, eat right, live long. Train hard, eat right, live long. Train hard, eat right, live long.